The assumption that the best protein comes from corpses is a racist belief. What's up, everybody? It's me, Melanie Mack here. Welcome to my new channel, Melanie Mack Go Boom. Thank you so much to everybody who has returned from my other channel here and also everybody who is newly subscribed. Thank you so much. I am so excited about this channel. I've been having a lot of fun with it. So let's continue those adventures. I moved my mic to this side. It was on this side and it had like a, a bit of a hum. I kept having issues and I think this might have fixed it. I think, I don't know if it was because it was right next to my PC, but I think this might have fixed it. I do feel like it's a little obtrusive, but it, it seems to be working. So I'll take it. So anyway... I also wanted to say for those who are inquiring about the uh, subscribe star setup thing that I had for those who want to support the content, of course, no pressure at all in that department, but my subscribe star thing did get approved and you can find that in the link in the description. So let's go ahead and move on though, because today I want to talk about the, the new Lord of the Rings, Amazon's Lord of the Rings stuff going on. Their their billion dollar production. Okay. I had a lot. I, I had some stuff to say and then I wanted to make this video. So I made this tweet. <laughs> I said they up and tossed the entire Lord of the Rings into Mordor by the look of it. Sauron help us. And and it got a lot of comments. Most people seem to to agree with me, but there's still some who, uh, uh, of course, are calling us names and accusing us of being a racist because, uh, you know, they think that's why we don't. That's the only reason why we just don't like it. That's it. And I feel like that's a, a, a shield for it. But anyway, like I said here, uh, there's just a, a big stark difference going on. I mean, just look at Galadriel here. And I know this is supposed to be some prequel and all this kind of stuff. Well, first of all, to my knowledge... Uh, Galadriel has never donned a suit of armor and uh, he battled. Uh, now, I do want to preface by saying I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings movies. I have dabbled a little in the books, but I am not a Middle Earth historian. So, I'm not claiming to be. I'll just say from my experience, the, the, the Peter Jackson trilogy uh, was just freaking perfect. Uh, in my opinion. And so, yeah, there will be comparisons there. So, yeah, I'm going to go into this a little bit more later. But anyway, I was just saying, like, on here, you can't even tell. Like, if, if you were just to see this picture, if this picture dropped on the internet with no context, would we know that this was Galadriel? No. Somebody, quote, tweeted me to say otherwise. Oh, I would know. I would have recognized. Bull crap. <laughs> There is, <laughs> apart from just blonde, okay, yeah, sure, sure, you would have known. Now, here's something else that I've said, and I've had this kind of issue with, with multiple things, not just Lord of the Rings in this case, but over the past, like, decade or so, we keep seeing properties return that have big fan bases, that a lot of us, you know, 90s kids especially, have, have helped bring these these franchises to success now obviously lord of the rings was way before all that so but i digress i'm just saying uh so anyway we help keep them popular we supported them we we help blow them up because we were the fans and so they take things that we like because they want our money but do they want to actually make us happy? No. Their goal is to, to reach new audiences and do their own thing. And, and they just, they know that, that a lot of the fans will still consume the content anyway. And that's why it's important that if we don't like something, don't support it. Same with like the Cowboy Bebop thing. Like the, the Netflix version. And the... The Death Note one. Now, I'm a massive Death Note fan. It's my all-time favorite anime. And whenever the live action dropped, I refused to watch it. And the reason why is because I knew it was going to be trash just from what I've gathered from 
what I'd seen and I would I didn't want to support it and I didn't want them to keep ruining things that I love so if we want them to stop ruining things that we love we got to stop lying in their pockets so anyway they do this they've done it with Tomb Raider it's not about the fans anymore. Lara Croft's completely unrecognizable. Now, I go more on a tangent on this on the Critical Drinkers uh, Happy Hour. Yesterday, I was on there. If you want to see that, um, I can post the link in the description. Because we went off talking about that for a long time. All right, so, uh, yeah, there were there were lots of, of comments here and lots of memes. Oh, heresy <laughs> Sauron help us. <laughs> you know, someone said something that made me laugh so much. They said, maybe Sauron was right. <laughs> oh my gosh, these memes. And this is what had me so shook. He's like, what did they do to Elrond? They murdered my boy. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, help. I saw this picture and I didn't realize it was Elrond. <laughs> it's it's just a tragedy. It is such a tragedy. Why do they got to do Elrond like that? And you know, I, as a general elf, this is fine because the elves in general are kind of, you know, kind of soy boyish in a way. That, that's just how they are. Uh, so it makes sense in that area, but Elrond was like the man. Elrond was the manly elf. And this just hurts my heart, dude. <laughs> it's tough to see. Now, this had, this had me laughing so hard. The Chad 2000's Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings trilogy. And just the, the memes here. And then the 2030 brand trademark Lord of the Rings sequel trilogy. I love how they have the 93% Rotten Tomatoes score and then the 46% user score. Although I will say I think that the user score is probably way too forgiving versus the more accurate version of that. And I don't know what Pooh Bear and Mickey Mouse. I mean, I guess Disney. <laughs> but I love that she mentioned the pronouns. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. <laughs> well, this guy's, this guy's mad about it. It's racist. It's a joke. It was. <laughs> so. Yeah, there was a lot of funny stuff to be had here. Now, let's go. But like, we're all going to be called racist for not liking us. It's already begun. But let's kind of. I'm going to speak a little positively first. Let's let's go over a pros and cons list. Okay. So, Gladriel. I think that uh, the actress was pretty well casted, if I'm honest. Uh, she She has a very elvish like a look like some very you know whimsical features and so i do think that works this is a, a younger galadriel um and i think that it works i think they casted a good actress for that now this cons on that uh, is how they've changed the this whole thing and to my knowledge uh, galadriel has never donned a suit of armor and this is where I, I get a bit frustrated because it's it's very common lately for characters, existing very feminine characters, to be, you know, defeminized a bit. And that's exactly what's going on here. Do I have a problem with, like, the tomboy vibe? No, I consider myself a tomboy. Um, so I don't have an issue with that. But I have an issue when they change when they change an existing character who was previously a lot more feminine um, and they more masculinize her. Now, this is this is more of an Eowyn vibe. And that's what I don't understand is we didn't need Galadriel to take this kind of role because Eowyn already did. Obviously, this is before Eowyn's time, but I'm just saying you didn't have to... You, you didn't have to reinvent a character 
like that. And this is the thing is her femininity is part of what made her powerful. And I'm, I'm so tired of this idea that women can't be powerful if they're feminine. That's just absolutely bogus. Uh, she, uh, the, her femininity was very powerful and she is, was such an iconic character and portrayed exceptionally well in the Peter Jackson trilogy of Lord of the Rings. Now, she's my little brother's favorite character. And so this whole idea that, that you can't find a, a, a feminine woman empowering is, is absurd my like I said my little brother found her very empowering and obviously has nothing in common with her uh, and he just finds her to be a very powerful character and he admires her strength uh, and she doesn't have to wear armor in battle like such uh, to accomplish that now let's move forward here this is where we get called names this is where we get called the racist okay so let's have a seat I I think that with the elves this is jarring because uh, traditionally we see Tolkien's elves be portrayed uh, as ex like they're portrayed as clear almost. They ain't even portrayed as like white. They're clear. That that like extremely pasty, uh, like almost white blonde hair. Um, obviously, there were some exceptions you got uh, that we saw with like in the other movies we saw like Elrond with the black hair and Arwen, but those were very rare exceptions um, in, in the universe. So yeah, this is jarring. Is it the worst thing that I've seen? No. I, could I live with it? Yeah. Uh, but I do think that it it's pandering. And I think that I know speaking as my myself is like a, a woman when I see something like this I feel like that's pandering also that's pandering to 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 the women and to make us think oh look we made her stronger and in all reality I feel like this version of her is infinitely more strong looking than this um it it just it feels insulting to me it feels insulting to me that like I it just does or, or think of a time where, because in this case, they're, they're frankly, like, replacing uh, and, and inserting uh, different races where they previously weren't um, there. Now, I want to say that I did see somebody tweet me and say that there was another specific uh, race of beings in, the, in Middle Earth who did have darker complexion and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, and... and why they didn't feature them, I don't know. Because whenever this kind of translates over and you you see this before and you know that there's a lot more of a, div a diversity within the, the dwarven and, and elven races and all that kind of stuff, then to see that not exist in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, if this is supposed to be before that. I know it's a spinoff, but if it, they're supposed to connect at all, it's very jarring. And you're like, hey, what happened then? What happened to where... It, things change it, it does have a big disconnect and I feel like this is pandering and it's also a bit of a shield for them because you know once this does flop uh, then they're gonna blame all of us and call us all racist for not liking it and they're gonna act like that was the reason when quite frankly if 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 the actual show was incredible and and seemed to be faithful and have the heart of Tolkien and all that kind of stuff, then these are these are things that we would, you know, be able to, to get past and all that kind of stuff. I still think it's pandering and I think it's, I, I feel like when you pander to people, uh, it's, it feels insulting. Um, it feels insulting to the audience that you're pandering to. And it's like, oh, now you can enjoy this because you couldn't otherwise. And and that's, I know it, for myself as a woman, whenever they, whenever any game or movie or anything like that inserts a woman where she pri previously was not. And they're like, okay, now women can like this. It, it's insulting to me because it's like, I don't have to see myself represented in something to like it. I can still enjoy it, you know. And so... That's that's my take on that personally. I, I I think this whole chess piece is really cool though. I'm not gonna lie, that that's awesome looking. Uh 
that's bad. Okay, but unfortunately, her costume isn't nearly as good. Now, I do think she has extremely striking features that that really translate nice on camera. I think that she looks strong. She's got a, a good dwarven build, uh, but sadly, this this outfit. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. We got Doritos all over, and we also got the Doritos dust on her fingers, but I'm just, like I said, I haven't read the books. I've like very briefly looked over them and all that kind of stuff, but not actually properly read the books. So I'll just say, um, from what, I just don't get a Lord of the Rings vibe. I don't. And I don't feel like they really even tried to uh, I'm all about like some creative liberties. You you, you need them, but this just seems like they're they're writing uh, Tolkien's back in a way. Like they're they're uh, they're using the Middle Earth fan base, but they're not actually delivering on any sort of accuracy. And yeah, that's sad. Uh, that's really sad. And this is where we got the quote. Evil cannot create anything new. They can only corrupt and ruin what good forces have invented or made. And I'm not going to call this evil inherently. I don't. Yeah. Um, but they absolutely seem to have corrupted it to some degree and ruined it. And the, the, the corrupted side, in my opinion, is when they talk about including um sensual scenes and and all that i think in this case that's very disrespectful given that tolkien you know was a, a man of faith and i don't think he would have wanted that and it's like if someone wants to make a new property or something like that and include those things hey go for it it's your thing it's your movie it's your tv show whatever but but to any time you are taking the helm of, of somebody else's property, especially, you know, somebody else who can't have any sort of say on it because they're not with us anymore, it just feels so disrespectful. And I just think that's sad. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And for today's... Well, let's go ahead and move on from there. And and well, I I like as y'all know to to bring a verse into a Bible verse into my videos. So today's verse, which I did tweet it out, but I will also share it here. Um, it, I I saw this on Instagram where they make it look like a text message. I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, the verse of the day, Psalm 27, 12, it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's a, just very encouraging for me. When, especially, you know, I've talked so much about, like, the mob and all that kind of stuff and, and how they come after you. And so stuff like this is just very encouraging to read because it's like, you know what, I, I ain't got to be scared of them. <laughs> so anyway... There's my take. I, I, I'm just not feeling good about this. I, I, there's a, a good like 95% chance I will not be watching and supporting it. I just, uh, I just don't like to see Tolkien's work be disrespected. And I just feel like that's what's going on. And, and I feel like it's been cheapened and, and, even beyond just the things that, oh, okay, I don't think he would have liked this or that. It feels like a giant pander piece. And it feels like they're trying to appeal to people on Twitter. And they're trying to just get retweets and all this crap. And all what it's done, is, I mean, they've gotten that, but not in the positive way that I think that they were expecting for the most part. Now, I don't know. And now we're just in this position where we get called names and we get called racist for not liking it. We're not allowed to have any sort of criticisms about things being accurate. It's not that any of us are against any type of diversity in, in content. We, we like it. There's plenty. 
those of us who just have problems with the pandering here, there are plenty of other properties that have diverse casts that we love. So I don't want to hear it. You know? Anyway, this looks like trash. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching. I think I'm going to upload another video later today where it's just going to be a shorter video. I did want to watch the trailer for the new uh, Gina Carano movie. And I want to react to it. Which I haven't seen it yet. Uh, the trailer. I retweeted it, but I didn't actually watch the trailer yet. So I'm going to react to it. Uh, post that uh, later. Uh, yeah, after I get back from the gym and all that kind of stuff. But anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you very much. And I will see you next time. Peace.